And we look now to the opening of play by Michigan. Look at the weights on the offensive front, averaging 285. Jokish, the split in, weighs a mere 239, but he makes up for that in the fact that he's six feet eight inches high. Kolasar and Jokic are the wide people. Jim Harbaugh steps in at quarterback. The deep man is Jamie Morris, Notre Dame, shuffling linebackers in and out. It goes to Morris. Morris trying to get around the corner, goes no place. Loses four yards as Ron Weissenhofer was able to penetrate and get to him along with Ernie Holloway. The offensive backfield, Harbaugh the quarterback, and Morris the tailback, the two key people, very white in there at fullback. Harbaugh is a big fella, stands uh, well over six feet. Jamie Morris is a little fella, 5'7", 180 pounds, which means he can get in behind there sometimes and hide. You can't find him. By the time you get through sifting and sorting out, he's gone. But he didn't go that time. Give him a three-yard loss on the first carry, second down and 13. Harbaugh rolls it left. Good protection, lobs his pass out to White. White cuts it to the 27 and goes down there. And I think it is very, very obvious that Notre Dame has come out jacked up. The Notre Dame defensive unit, Kovalevsky, is the inside backer there, and he'll be very, very important all day. Mike is a senior out of Newcastle, Indiana. We look at him, and he's a tough, good, solid football player. Michigan comes up now in a full house backfield. Set up in a wishbone formation. They have practiced it. Bob Perryman is in there at fullback on third down and three. Option play goes to the right side to the big fullback, and he's got a first down. Now they go back to the split back formation as the wishbone worked or the option offense worked the first time. Handoff goes to Jamie Morris. Morris goes from the 31 to about the 32. Second down and eight. Michigan goes to a double tight end alignment as Derek Walker checks into the ball game and Kolasar comes out. Harbaugh fakes it left, turns it right, naked bootleg, looks down the middle, throws the ball, complete to Jeffrey Brown, is tight end, and Brown is up for a first down close to midfield. Beautiful play there. Opening offensive series of the ball game. Up man, White, the fullback. Right guard gets in behind the big fella Dames, a mere 260, but Hussar at 290 is also over there, and there is some daylight. High formation this time for Michigan on second down and six. Irish bouncing around defensively, showing a five man front. Foge Fazio now the defensive coordinator for Notre Dame. Little man, Morris carries the ball, 5'7, 180 from Air, Massachusetts, and uh, Jamie, the younger brother of Joe, who plays for the New York Giants, is going to be marked down at the 43. So you're looking at third down, two and a half. Harbaugh goes down the line with the ball, turns the corner, first down, and then some. Down to the 30-yard line. Gerald White made the big block to turn Harbaugh upfield. Straight back to pass on first down. Ball is batted down by the big man on the defensive line for Notre Dame, Wally Klein, 6'9", 275. Jokic goes to the top. And Harbaugh gives the ball to Jamie Morris, bouncing in the middle. And picks up yardage to the 25. He got a good five on that carry. Now you've got three wideouts in the lineup for Michigan on third down and five, and Harbaugh is back to throw. Has a lot of time. Sideline thrown too high, and the ball was really thrown over the head of Jamie Morris. Because as Jamie went up and got a hand on it, he was out of bounds. So it brings up a fourth down, and in comes the kicking unit now with Pat Moons, a senior from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in to try the field goal, and it's from a heady distance of 42 yards. Nine and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. The holder is Monty Robbins, the punter. Last year, Moons was uh, one for one from this distance. Plenty of leg on it. And he missed it. Steve Berline now comes out for his first snap. Pernell Taylor at fullback and Mark Green, the tailback. And here's the first snap of the Irish under the coaching of Lou Holtz. Goes to Green. He's cut down after a couple of yards up to about the 27-yard line. Berline will whip it up the field. Throws it quickly to Mark Green, who had been a wide receiver, but crept out that time into a flanker position 
He had been converted into the tailback spot. And uh, that time he went back to that wide spot and picked up a first down. Tim Brown, the other wide man, it's got to be a key personality in this ball game because he's the swiftest of the swift out there today. But the single's biggest factor here has to be Steve Berline. He has to perform well for Notre Dame to win today. He's thrown 37 career interceptions. He can't afford any mistakes like that against Michigan. The ball is marked out at the 42 where it's first down for the Irish. Split back formation ball goes to Green and Green spinning with a tackler gets up across the 45 to the 47 where he is hauled down and uh, Andy Moeller in the middle at the inside backer position is bound to be a key man today for the Michigan defensive people and was involved in the last play. Garland Rivers at cornerback is the hitter. You might, he might do anything. That's exactly right. But Andy Moeller is the son of Gary Moeller, the defensive coordinator, thinks like his dad, reacts a little bit better. A little younger. This is Tim Brown, the wide receiver, running a reverse for the Irish. And Brown at 6'2", 190, a junior out of Dallas, Texas. Just give him a crack, and he's gone. And he picked up a first down with that carry. I think they will play the game very tight, tough and close, perhaps as long as three quarters. But manpower eventually may become a problem for them. That's the bottom line of this contest. Brown trying to bounce outside with it. That time is unable to do it as Michigan read it early. And Steve Thiebert, 6'5", 240 from Union Lake, Michigan, brings him down. He's an outside backer to the right side. Second down. About 13. Berline's pass is complete. Caught by number eight, Andy Heck, sophomore, Annandale, Virginia, and nailed by Garland Rivers. It's third down and a long seven now for the Irish. The ball is at the Michigan, just inside the Michigan 44. As Berline rolls and throws, good to Miller. And Miller has a first down for the Irish at the 32-yard line. Reggie Ward is in at flanker now, replacing Tim Brown for the moment as Notre Dame goes to the I formation. Green, the deep man. And Taylor the up man and Taylor has the ball and he dives into the middle to about the 30 for a pickup of two yards. Watching Brown he'll go double wide with Miller to the top of the picture. That's a lot of speed. At the top of the picture. Berline rolls it that way. Looks down the middle. Goes into the end zone for Miller and it is incomplete. Now Milt Jackson shows up in the game, number six for the first time. It's split in. Another speedster, and Berline goes straight back on third down. Little shovel pass ahead to Taylor. Taylor's got some blocking in front of him. He's got a first down inside the 20. First down at the 19-yard line for the Irish. Michigan's 19. to Green and Mark Green who comes out of Riverside California six footer 185 Notre Dame goes into a wishbone set now with a beer option and Berline comes down the line flips it back to Green Green's on the corner he's inside the 10 he's inside the five he's out of bounds at the three first and goal Irish and they've got a great chance now first down and goal from the three they stay in the wishbone they pitch it back to Tim Brown Brown bounces outside foot race to the corner touchdown John Carney is in for the extra point out of Dan Sorensen's hold and it's good and Carney will kick off now with Colasar and Morris deep for Michigan. Into the end zone, way back, no return. Let's do it now, Southwick. Keith, you know, the Wolverine helmets have always uh, interested me. This design is certainly strange. It doesn't look like a Wolverine, and well, it's not. You know, the longtime innovative coach of Michigan, Fritz Chrysler, designed these for visibility on passing plays. This basic yellow was from the stitching from the old leather helmets. And when they went to these helmets, they decided to keep the same design. Boy, are they distinctive. When Bo Schembechler came to this coach this team in 1969, he jokingly said, the first thing I want to do is get rid of these helmets. No one at the alumni grouping laughed. They're still here. Back to you. <laughs> Visibility downfield. You don't have any trouble spotting your receivers, that's for sure. First down, Wolverine. They trail. Give it to Morris. Morris from the 20. Jamie's out to the 25. Harbaugh back to throw it. Gets it off down the middle. Colasar's there, and he's got it for a first down at the Irish 40. Caught it in front of Marv Spence. 
perfect throw and a fine catch by Colasar. Anytime a team goes to a zone defense, especially a two deep zone, you've got to put that safety in the middle of the field. Well, Notre Dame did that, but by the time they did it and he reacted and readjusted after hesitating, Colasar was into the secondary. You beat that two deep zone or you beat any zone by going to the middle. Colasar ran a post pattern and he was clear in the seam. So they pick up a bundle and mark it at the 41 yard line, not the 40. Colasar goes in motion on this play. And it goes to the up man, White. And Gerald White wedges to about the 36. Second down and five. This is Gerald White. White breaks a tackle on the right side, picks up a first down. As he cracks inside the 30 and gets to the 26, free safety Mike Haywood came up to bring him down. White and Morris in the eye. Harbaugh to Morris. Morris disappears in the stack, but once again shows his strength. Harbaugh rolls it right on the waggle. Passes complete. Caught by Jeffrey Brown. Tight end down around the 10 yard line, and that will be another Michigan first down. The ball is right on the 10 yard line where it's first and goal, and Bob Perryman comes into the wishbone backfield now for Michigan. Harbaugh hands it off to the up man Perryman, the 225 pound senior from Buzzards Bay, Mass., and he cracks in there for a couple of yards. Second down and goal from the eight. Harbaugh to Morris. Morris hit at the line of scrimmage. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown. And he does. Numbers on the Michigan drive. 80 yards, eight plays. Morris scoring from eight yards. And now the football game begins. A 7-7 tie. And it is Sass circling, but he does not take it. It is Corny Southall, a defensive back, and Corny Southall on the return comes back to about the 27-yard line. Here's Al. If you know traditions die hard here at Notre Dame, it's a tradition of the students to stand and watch the entire game and never sit down. Let's see if we can get somebody to sit down here. Can anybody sit down? That may not be the best seat in the house. It may not be the cheapest seat in the house, but I'll guarantee you one thing. It's the toughest seat in the house. If I were you, I'd get out of there. Because they, they do enjoy themselves in their own little corner of this old stadium as Berline drops to throw on first down, wants to go deep, does go deep. For Brown, as far as he can throw it, and it's an incomplete forward pass. No interference on that call. Ivan Hicks was covering him all the way. 7-7 tie with 22 seconds to play in the first quarter. Burline gives the ball away to number 46. That's Pernell Taylor. <laughs> Hi, y'all. 29-yard line. It's third down and eight for the Fighting Irish as we go to the second quarter of play in a 7-7 ball game. Burline has had a good long chat now with the coaches on the sideline. Brown is wide to the bottom of the picture. Burline will throw it on third and long. Goes the other way. Pass is caught by Mark Green. Swinging out of the backfield. Goes for a first down at the 40. Brought down by Garland Rivers. Same alignment. Burline drop. Short drop. Quick pass. Incomplete. Reggie Ward is in there at a flanker spot now. Burline gives the ball to Ward on a reverse play. Has a block on the corner. Springs it. Picks up a first down as he crosses midfield and goes to the Michigan 47-yard line. Got a dead ball. Personal foul. Michigan. First down. And it's Irish first down at the Wolverine 31. Burline hands to Green. Big hole right side. Mark Green first down inside the 20 to the 17. Oh, the Irish now beginning to threaten again in their second offensive possession. First down, and that time somebody missed the count. So that'll be a penalty against the Irish. There's a bit of a surprise as the Washington Huskies are opening up and clouting Ohio State at halftime. Huskies are going to be right in the chase out in the western part of the country this year. Don James. Fine program. On first down and 15, Burline roll left. A lot of protection, a lot of time. Looking, looking, nobody there. Goes to the sidelines. 
And he's out at the 15 yard line. <laughs> Second down and seven. Penalty flag. Pitch back. Ball fumble. Michigan covers it at the six yard line. So let's see. We may have a penalty call against the Irish. And if that's the case, Michigan will surely decline it and keep the ball. Reggie Ward was the man with the ball, and he lost control of it. Harbaugh at quarterback. They come out in the wishbone with White, Perryman, and Morris lined up behind Harbaugh. Big man Perryman carries it. Maybe a yard. That'll do it. Second down, long eight or short nine, however you like it. They picked up a yard and a half on the play. That's Colasar in motion. Ball goes to Jamie Morris. Morris cuts it back into the nope. It is White. Gerald White carrying. And White gets it up across the 10. And Harbaugh is back to throw this time. Getting some pressure. And he's out of bounds at the five. Robert Banks that time made the play. Monty Robbins punting out of the back of his end zone. Averaged just over 40 last year per kick. Pressure's on him. He gets it out. High kick, no spin on it. It's going to be a short kick. And it takes a Notre Dame bounce back up field. Oh boy. Green and Taylor go into a wishbone formation with Brown. Brown has it, and Brown goes to the 20. Burline to Green. Green is caught and brought down by Todd Schulte. And the Irish go to the wishbone. Burline back to throw it. All day. Wings it away to Jackson. And Jackson is knocked out of bounds. Just short of the 15. Brown. Well, we knew when the Air Force Academy and Army had so much success with the wishbone, and of course in Oklahoma, that other teams would be going back to it. I didn't expect to see it this much in this game. This is Brown carrying, and once again, he's got the better part of four yards as he's inside the 10 to near the 7. Expect the unexpected right now from Lou Holtz. Tim Brown, sweep right, two blockers, cuts it back, five-yard line, first and goal, Notre Dame. Little bit of deception, little bit of fakery, play action. Brown is out of the game now, and Ward goes back in. They go to the eye formation, and Mark Green pounds it over the left side and goes to the Michigan one-yard line. Green over the top. Touchdown. Carney for the extra point. And it's good. 8.08 to go in the first half. 14-7. Notre Dame leads. Carney to kick it. Morris and Colasar are the deep people for Michigan. Sailing kick that is out of here. First down for the Wolverines at the 20. They trail by seven. Colasar comes in motion. Harbaugh sets him and gives to Jamie Morris. Pops it up the middle. He was caught at the line of scrimmage. Somebody had a hold of the ball. Marty Lippincott grabbed him by the arm and the ball. But once again, Jamie shows his strength and picks up three. Harbaugh's pass thrown to Morris underneath. Lost his footing on his cut. Knee hit the ground. They'll mark him at the 30. Into the middle. Pitch out Morris. Look for the reverse. Colasar's got it. Coming around. Got blockers in front of him. Shakes one. And gets a first down. Took some punishment, but he got it out of bounds at the 43. And Harbaugh. Quick snap. Quick step, can't find anybody downfield, gives to Jamie Morris, and Jamie just turns it upfield and takes what he can get. Second down and about five. White with the ball. Straight ahead he goes, first down. Power football. Steve Lawrence is in at free safety, replacing Mike Haywood. Mike was skimpy after injuring an ankle, apparently. This is Perriman, the big fullback. And he breaks it over the left side and picks up three, four, maybe even five yards by the time he has tumbled down. Harbaugh back. Jokic is down the middle. Harbaugh doesn't see him. He's still down there and still available. The pass is thrown underneath to Colasar. And Colasar will go down just inside the 30. But that will be another Michigan first down. 
Michigan's offense 94 yards running 94 yards passing it's first down at the Notre Dame 29 14 to 7 Irish lead 405 to go first half this is white and white gets outside sees three blue shirts out there cuts it back and gets it to the 25 give him four on that carry brought down by West Pritchett Harbaugh keeps it gets away from Banks Harbaugh running around, throws to the sidelines. Colasar at the 15 and knocked out at about the 13, and a penalty flag is thrown. John Nealon defines it as personal foul out of bounds, and the ball goes down to the six yard line where it's Michigan first and goal to go at the Irish six. Harbaugh keeps it, turns it upfield, and goes down at the five. A yard on the play. Now let me correct the call. It is first down and four. First and four. And now it is second down and about maybe two and a half. So they can get a first down without scoring here. Pitch, Morris. Jamie Morris, hole up the middle. Closes quickly at the four. Wally Klein shut the door on him. Third down and two. The ball is still at the five. Jokic wide to the top of the picture. Harbaugh gives it to Morris. Stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Maybe not even there. Pat Moons, the senior. 23-yard try. It is good. At 52 seconds to go in the first half. Here's the kickoff by Rick Sutkovitz. Goes to Tim Brown, three yard line. And Brown is back to about the 21, where Tim Schulte brings him down. And you've got 47 seconds to play in the first half. 14 to 10 the score, Notre Dame lead. I don't blame those guys for jumping high. I've been hard on the on the defense here's the call I've been hard on the Notre Dame defense I've told you that Banks is having a tough time adjusting and he is but the key is it's been like a rubber band defense they've stretched but they haven't broken down close and they're getting better every series if they can continue to improve that's all the coaches can ask good high hanging kick though should get good coverage Brown takes it up at the 14 yard line gets to the outside Loses his footing as he started to cut back at the 31. Anthony Johnson is checked in, a 6'1", 220-pound freshman from South Bend, Indiana. Local fellow who stayed home to play football, and they think he's going to be a good one. Number 22. But he is now flanked or split wide to the bottom of the picture in a wide receiver spot. And Berline unloads it quickly to Jackson. Jackson makes the catch, got him out there one on one, and a good open field tackle by number 15 for Michigan, David Arnold, a sophomore from Warren, Ohio. Berline trying to get him up to the line with 28 seconds left. Clock ticking along. First, second down, and four. Berline rolls it back, gets some heat, gets it away. Sideline thrown out of bounds, stops the clock. Irish have two timeouts remaining. Aaron Robb out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, is out there now for the Irish. Number 21 at a wide receiver spot and goes in motion. And here's the pitch back to Johnson. Big hole for him. Anthony Johnson puts his head down and runs for the first down. Brown takes off. Berline pops and looks down the middle and throws for Miller, and he dropped the ball. Alvin Miller had it down the middle. Four seconds to play in the first half. Berline drops. Got trips to the top of the picture. Puts it in the air as far as he can throw it. And it's incomplete. And the first half is over. So the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. First time out under Lou Holtz. Go to the clubhouse. Leading 14 to 10 over Michigan. Back with the halftime activities after this message and a word from our local station. These two teams are in a series that lasts 10 years for the opening game. This being the 18th meeting altogether between the two. Carney hits it, and he's got another long one. Colasar is going to come out of there with it. And he gets it out across the 20 to about the 22. 
First down for the Wolverines. Harbaugh lines up at quarterback with uh, White and Jamie Morris in the eye behind him. Kolasar and Jokic, the deep people. Jamie Morris with the ball coming right up the middle, and he takes it up to about the 26, maybe the 27-yard line. Kolasar goes in motion on second down and four. Ball goes back to Morris again, and Jamie's got the first down as he pounds through the middle, and they're finding some daylight on the right side. Kovaleski making his 13th tackle of the ball game. Harbaugh rolls it out, climbs after him, gets some help. Downfield, pass caught, Jokic down at the Irish 40. First down, Michigan, Brandy Wells shoved him out of bounds. Morris there he goes, there he goes. slips and falls right about the line of scrimmage. Maybe a half yard or so. Come on, baby. Harbaugh back again. Gets his pass away to the sidelines, and I don't think Jokic ever saw it. He looked back into the sun. Now, looking back from that angle is very, very difficult in the stadium because you're staring right into the sun, and I don't think he ever picked up the ball. Ken Higgins, number 31, the third wide out. Banks is after him. Harbaugh runs away from it. Now gets it off to White. White's got a first down and then some as he dives to the 20. First down, Wolverines. Start of the second half. Just beginning. Harbaugh gives it to Morris. Morris finds some room and he's close to the 15 before he is thrown down. And it's second down and about five and a half. Harbaugh running away from the pressure, running for his life. And will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That time run down by Brandy Wells, number five. Harbaugh fires. Got a man at the six-yard line, Higgins, and it's first and goal, Michigan. It's first and goal from the six for the Wolverines. Out of that wishbone, they go inside to the big man Perryman, and Perryman pounds along, and uh, the linesman has marked him down at the one. Harbaugh gives it to the second man, White, and White is held short of, no, it's Perryman, short of the goal line. Now who goes over the top? Harbaugh outside Morris foot race to the corner he's in there touchdown moons for the extra point Pat pops it high in the air and good Sutkowitz will hit it from the 35 Michigan leading 17 14 and it's a very short kick it's going to bounce around and bounce back up field Michigan's got it he hit a Notre Dame man. Michigan's got it. The clock never moved on it. He's still got 8.57 to go in the third quarter, and Harbaugh now looks to cash in. He's got a man going into the corner. Touchdown, Morris. Oh, yeah, he's got it. Yes. Ball came loose. He hit the ground. It's a touchdown. I bet you Lou Holtz walks 20 miles in the course of a ball game. I have never seen him stand still. You see that bandage on the right hand? He broke his finger the other day catching a punt. First time he'd ever tried to catch a ball with bifocals. And he just simply lost it. And it hit him right on the end of the finger and just shattered it. It really is sore. But he never let him know that nope. the finger was broken. He just threw, threw the ball back to him and said, all right, let me see you do it. All right, here comes the Irish now. Sass comes back with it. A flanker, number, no, it's Ward. Reggie Ward, 83, comes back upfield with it. And a good determined run by Reggie Ward as he bolts out across the 35 to the 34-yard line. Your Big Ten Tournament champions. Moments like this. Nothing but smiles. Time to raise the Big Ten Tournament Trophy. Because I am a champion. Check out the absolute elation. And let the party begin. The thrill of victory. It's pretty crazy to be holding this right now. I can't believe that we've achieved this. This team is legendary. 
Over 11 seasons, hundreds went down in flames. Your time is done in MasterChef. Fox Wednesdays. This is MasterChef back to win. The most talented home cooks return for a second chance. There's someone from every season. And you can watch anytime. Step up a little bit or go home. With a shot at redemption. No mistakes can be made. Which all-star will step up to finally be named MasterChef? That is finale worthy. MasterChef back to win. All new Wednesdays on Fox. And watch anytime on Fox Now or Hulu. I'm proud of the name Fenty. My father made history when he became the youngest mayor of Washington, D.C. When I'm at home with him, there's never a time that he doesn't get recognized. It's always been an honor when someone says, you're Mayor Fenty's son, but I'm working hard to make a name for myself. So one day, maybe it'll be, hey, aren't you Andrew Fenty, the tennis player? And is this your dad? seconds and Berline throws underneath to the tight end Joel Williams a senior from Monroeville Pennsylvania and he goes for a first down up at the 46 and now let's go back to Al Troutwig. Well Keith I'm beginning to think I better let uh, Reverend James really get back on the sidelines he's been the team chaplain for 20 years now you notice on that uh, for the Notre Dame team you notice on the mosaic here the hands up in the air well on this campus it has become known as touchdown Jesus now father has that bothered anyone at the university I don't believe so Al it's a typical thing that students do and anything that they have a lot of respect for sometimes to kind of equalize it they just give it a nickname that most of the statues on campus have nicknames. I know you're dying to get back on the sidelines. What are you going to think to yourself when you get back there in just a few minutes? Well, we're going to be all right. As we talked at the beginning of the season, or and Lou talked at the beginning of the game about a little bit of adversity, and I think we just experienced it. They got two touchdowns, so we're going to be all right. All right, Keith, from this beautiful vantage point, back to you. Amy Brown comes to the bottom of the picture now. Second down, seven yards to go. Burline drops. Steve looks downfield, has time, goes out of bounds with it to Alvin Miller. Incomplete forward pass. Big zero on the right hand side there is important to Steve Berline. Got it again. Miller makes the catch. And he is at the Michigan 37. Berline rides it off to his fullback. And Pernell Taylor, who hasn't seen the ball a whole lot today, he's been primarily a blocking back. And he slams in there and gets good yardage on that carry. About four. This is a drive that answered any questions we may have had and anybody else in this stadium about facing adversity. They're coming right back at Michigan now and saying, take this. We're not done. We're not quitting. We're coming back. We're driving it down the field. Ball is on the 33-yard line. Second down and six. Tailback, Mark Green, to about the 31, picked up two. Third down and four. Berline keeps it, fights for the marker, and Mark Green was the man that covered it. Did he, I sort of lost the ball in the melee. He picked it up, but and Green picked forward. it up. It is fourth down and inches for Notre Dame. Berline behind his offensive line will have the first down. First down for the Irish at the Michigan 26. 5-15 to go, third quarter. 24-14, Michigan leads by 10. This is Tim Brown. Inside the 15 to the 14. At 16, first downs for the Irish. They go to the wishbone. Mark Green, penalty flag, a yard for Green. Anthony Johnson checks into the backfield, replacing Mark Green. Remember, he's 220 pounds. He carried it one time in the first half and had a big play. There's contact made by number 56, Billy Harris. On the center, Chuck Lenza. Bo Schembechler is livid. But Brown in motion. Pitch it to Johnson. 
down at the line of scrimmage may not have reached the line of scrimmage the ball resting just outside the five three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter this is Tim Brown he dives and looks like he's got his first down Berline, a little long touchdown Joe Williams Carney's extra point. No good. Missed it. Missed the extra point. 24-20. Jamie Morris and John Colasar waiting for Carney's kickoff. He hasn't let anybody return one all day. Well, he did, too. They ran one out of the end zone to start the half, but this time Colasar thinks better of it because he's about six yards deep in the end zone. First down from the 20. Harbaugh gives to Morris and Jamie Morris from the 20 to the 24. Perriman's in the backfield now and Morris is out. So it's Perriman and White. Harbaugh rolls it out, gets his pass away, intended for Perriman, and it is incomplete. The Perriman bolting out of the backfield, covered by Randy Wells, and uh, the pass was just simply thrown beyond the reach of both men. Third down now for Michigan and six. Pretty good size play right here for the Wolverines and Ole Moe. Harbaugh's pass is away and short of Higgins, the intended receiver, and they'll have to punt. Troy Wilson is the deep man for Notre Dame. No pressure, and he still didn't get all of it. Wilson comes up and accepts it and takes the punishment, but he's got good field position with it. It'll be first down Notre Dame at their own 47. That a 31 yard punt. Jim, when we look at the quarterback comparison, the efficiency of the two, Edge goes to Harbaugh. He has a 24 20 lead right now, but Steve Berline has the ball. First down at the Irish 47. And he's throwing on first down. Swings it out to Green. Two big blockers in front of him, and he's on his way. All the way to the 25. 28-yard play. Back to the wishbone go the Irish, and they go to Tim Brown up the middle to the 21. That's three yards. Senior quarterback, and on second down and six. Fumble. Michigan's ball. Cornell Taylor. Garland Rivers, cornerback, forcing the third Notre Dame turnover. Doug Mallory making his second recovery of the day, and the Michigan Wolverines take over just outside their 15-yard line. He hammered that right hand in there, and ball squirted out. And here comes Michigan now, with a minute to go in the third quarter. Michigan leading 24 to 20. Harbaugh on first down, the pass. Swings it out to Jamie Morris, and Morris is run down by Cedric Figaro. It's been a fist fight up to this point. Michigan now, second down, a loss on that play of three, second and 13. Jamie Morris picks his way through to the 20. So that'll go down as a six yard run for Jamie Morris. And the third quarter is over. 24-20, Wolverines lead the Fighting Irish. McMurtry and Collis and uh, Jokic go wide to the top of the picture. Pass down the middle, and it is to Jokic, and it is good for a first down. Up at the 31-yard line. Gerald White becomes the tailback as Morris leaves. Berryman comes in at fullback for Michigan. First down at the, near the 32, and White tries to find a little daylight. Not much there as Tom Gorman brings him down, and Dave Butler, number 37, a linebacker, had stepped into the backfield and messed up the play. Second down and still about 10. Harbaugh back to throw the ball. Goes deep down the middle for Higgins, and it's too long. Third down and still about 10 from the 32. 
Harbaugh gives to Morris. And Jamie is sworn at the 34. So it'll be punting time for Money Robbins. Troy Wilson, the return man. This time, Robbins hits one. Wilson at the 25 to about the 27, 40-yard punt. And Doug Mallory made the tackle. At 12 minutes and 59 seconds to play in the football game, the Irish trailing the Wolverines by four. It's first down. As Steve Berline rolls it out, pumps it, now looks down the middle. He's got ground wide right open. The Michigan 41. Tim Brown has come out dragging a leg. Burline hit from behind as he throws the ball but still gets it to Reggie Ward. And Ward is down to the Michigan 25. Another first down. Right now Notre Dame knocking on the door. First down at the Michigan 25 yard line with 12 and a half minutes to play in the game. Burline to Green. And Green over the top to the 20. Second down, call it five. This is Brown. Hits the chalk down around the 13-yard line. Make it the 12. And that will be another Irish first down. You know, Notre Dame is just having fun now. They're playing with fun and a great deal of confidence. This is Green, and Green hit by Mallory hard. A Moeller, rather. Moeller. And Andy Moeller knocks him sideways. There'll be no gain on the play. Wishbone for the Irish. Call it second down and nine. Berline rolls it out. Looks to the end zone. Nobody there. He was looking for Andy Heck, and the Michigan defensive people had taken him away because Rivers and Gamp were all over him, and Berline, rather than risk it, pulled it down and stepped out of bounds at the eight. It's third down and six from the eight. Berline loops it to the corner for Tim Brown. Intercepted in the corner by David Arnold. It'll come out to the 20. That is the fourth turnover for Notre Dame. Ten minutes and 50 seconds to play in the game. Jamie Morris and Bob Perryman in the backfield for the Wolverine. Colasar in motion. And Harbaugh gives it to Jamie Morris. And Jamie Morris finds some daylight. Second down, two. Perryman, the fullback. He will not get the first down. He had to come to the 30. Into the middle, and they've got the first down. As this time, Bob Perryman was able to square shoulders and get his legs under him on first down. Harbaugh throws it out of bounds. You start thinking Jokic here. He's available, but they throw it underneath to White, the tailback. It's third and six. Jokic on the sidelines. The pass is broken up. And Wilson, who just made the play, is the man Notre Dame likes to have return it. He does not get the ball to turn over again. This is fielded by Reggie Ward, and Reggie Ward is collected in a very harsh manner. The pressure right now is on the Michigan defense. As the Irish start out first down at their own 29, trailing 24 to 20. And throwing on first down. Down the middle, it goes to the tight end, Joel Williams. And the big end gets up across the 40, near the 42, for a first down. Down the middle, it goes. Same man. This, Nope, it's Andy Heck this time. Little loop out here to Mark Green. Two blockers in front of him, and Green is on his way. Knocked out of bounds inside the 30. They rule that uh, Green hit the chalk, the sidelines, at the 35-yard line, and that's where it is, first down. Reverse with Brown carrying, and Brown 
with help coming around the corner is thrown down at the 20. First down from the 20, Burline gives the ball to Taylor. And Pernell Taylor, who's been blocking for everybody else all day, gets his second or third carry of the ball game. Michigan defense being bumped around some here in this fourth quarter. Burline back. Whistles his pass. Pass is caught by Green. Green breaks one tackle, and he's just short of the 10. Braxton Banks is in there now at the halfback position, and he's got the ball. Braxton Banks, a 210-pound freshman from Hayward, California, into the game for the first time and gets the ball. And the first down. First and goal. Reggie Ward. Down he goes, short of the line of scrimmage. Burline throwing for Brown. Dropped it. Tough catch. He was looking over his right shoulder and then tried to flip back to the left side, shielding the defender Arnold away with his body, and the ball dropped right off his arm. The extra point looming, looming, and looming. The missed extra point. Mark Green is back in. Burline rolls it left. Throws into the end zone. Touchdown! Oh, they said he was out! He came down line. right down on the line. Now, I don't know. Uh, nobody's called touchdown. I called it too soon. They are saying no pass. Incomplete. His foot hit the chalk. It's Joel Williams, number 89. Watch for the number. Oh, was that close? I can't wait to see it. Now, Burline had all the time in the world. It's a tough throw now. He's got to turn his body and square his shoulders, but he drills it right in there. Watch his feet. Official is right there. Couldn't miss the call. He's looking right at the feet. It's got to be a good call. Got to be a good call because he's looking right at his feet two yards from him. Carney's in for a field goal try. And he hits it. And it's a one-point ball game from 25 yards out. Carney to kick off. Jamie Morris at the one. Short of the 20, White and Morris out of the eye. Morris, what a sweep. Out to the 20. Did he fumble? He fumbled the football, but was he down? Three officials are talking. He was down. They give it a White. That's two yards at the most before Robert Banks cuts him down. Going big for Colasar. He's out there. He's got it. And he's out of bounds at the Notre Dame 40. White and Perriman, the backs. That's Perryman, 225-pounder. Jams in there for about three. Both teams have three timeouts remaining. White looking around for a place to run and can't find anything as number 94, Mike Griffin, jumps on him. And again, the ball was rolling around on the ground. But the ball carrier was down. Harbaugh shoots it down the middle. That's got to be interference. Got to be. Jokic is tackled before the ball got there by Steve Lawrence. And that will give him a first down. Minute 39 to play. They work out of the wishbone and go to the up man, Perryman, the fullback. Again, Notre Dame is shouting for the ball. That one did look like a fumble. They're unwrapping him. It was a fumble. But Notre Dame has owned this fourth quarter against Michigan and Burline back to throw on first down. Down the middle goes for Miller. Miller is down to the Michigan 40. First down Irish. They put it at the 41 of Michigan with a minute and 15 to play in the ball game. And Burline back on first down. Whips it out to Mark Green. He put his knee on the ground back at the 46 and that's where the ball will be put. A loss of five yards. 
Jackson and Brown come wide to the bottom of the picture and Burlines back to throw and still very little defensive pressure and is thrown down the middle and caught by Jackson at the 29 yard line and he's down there. First down for Notre Dame. Tight end moved forward straight ahead can flex but you can't go straight ahead. 46 seconds to play in the game. Burline, quick pop, sideline. Jackson drops it. They got Jackson and Ward now. Bottom of the picture. The speedsters. Burline back. Second down and 15. Little shovel up the middle to Cornell Taylor. And Taylor is inside the 30 down at the 28. Burline's pass thrown to the sidelines. Incomplete. Off the hands of Ward. Tough pass to catch. It'll be a 45 yard field goal try to win. It's up. He missed it. Ball is hooked off to the left side. So a tough day for John Carney. Ten seconds to play in the ball game. Jim Harbaugh takes the snap, goes down with it, and that will do it. The Michigan Wolverines have defeated Notre Dame's Fighting Irish, and they were that today by a score of 24 to 23.